Hello everyone. Today we'll be discussing the first problem which came in BMAT BSTAT 2019. The problem says that we have to prove that the positive integers that cannot be written as the sum of our consecutive positive integers with r greater than 1 are of the form n equals to 2 to the power l. So now if we can prove that the numbers which are not of the form 2 to the power l, so all those numbers if we can show that they can be written as the sum of our consecutive positive integers then we will be done right so let's do it okay so here is the statement that we are going to prove that where uh, n is not of the form 2 to the power l then we can write n as the sum of our consecutive positive integers where r is strictly greater than 1 okay so proof so first, since n is not equal to 2 to the power l, so we must have an odd divisor of n, right? So let's take d to be an odd divisor, okay? So d divides n where and d is greater than equals to 3 and where d is an odd divisor of n. Okay, so now I'm taking the sum of our consecutive integers. Suppose my first term is a and the second term will be a plus 1 till a plus r minus 1 okay so these are the sum of our consecutive in the uh, positive integers okay where a, a is also positive integer okay now this sum comes out to be r by 2a plus r minus 1 by 2 okay now we need to show that this sum is equals to n when there is an odd divisor d dividing n okay so let's come to case 1. We'll see why case 1. So I will have two cases. The first case, uh, why we will see two cases. So this is 2a plus r minus 1 by 2. Now keep in mind that I have to show that this is equals to n. Okay, so those for those n where I cannot write them as the form of 2 to the power l. Fine. Now, since I need n, so why don't uh, I keep the n factor in R? So, and I need to cancel out this denominator, the 2 in the denominator. So, I take my R as 2n. Now, you see that R cannot be greater than n because uh, we have the sum of R consecutive positive integers right and that's equals to n so we divide this by the d okay the d that means the uh, odd divisor that i have taken for uh, n okay so inside the bracket what do we have so you see that outside the bracket uh, this denominator 2 cancels out and we have n by d so from inside the bracket it, if I can somehow bring out d, then we get our n as the sum. Okay. So r I have taken as 2n by d. And now this is 2n by d minus 1. And plus, uh, this is 2 times this. Now I have to choose carefully my a. So what can be a? So if you see that I have to get cancel out this 2n by d. So why don't I take a negative n by d inside? So that 2n by d cancels out inside the bracket. And I also need to, uh, need to cancel out this negative 1. So I'm taking half, okay, a positive half inside the bracket. So you see that that negative 1 cancels out. And now I need a d. So that's why I'm taking d by 2 inside the bracket. 
So you see that after simplifying, a D will come out and this will be our N. Correct. But there is a condition. You see that I have taken my R to be 2N by D and since D is a divisor of N, so my R is greater than or equal to 2. And it satisfies the criteria of problem that R should be greater than 1. Okay, now my A should also be an integer, right? And it should be positive. Clear. So we have to keep that in mind. So A is equals to, so what do we have uh, A as? D by 2 plus half minus N by D. Okay. Now you see that D plus 1 by 2. Now D was an odd divisor. So D plus 1 by 2, this is a, a an integer and n by d is also an integer okay so at least we can see from here that a is an integer so now I have to put one condition here that d plus 1 by 2 is strictly greater than n by d so that my a is greater than equals to 1 so d plus 1 by 2 is an integer n by d is also an integer and uh, the first integer is strictly greater than the second integer and they are positive. So this is greater than equals to 1. So I have my a to be greater than equals to 1. So in case 2 I will be taking d plus 1 by 2 is lesser than equals to n by d. Okay. And again, uh, D is an odd divisor of N where D is greater than or equals to 3. Okay. And D is odd. Fine. Now, again, remember that we have to, for all this type of integers, we have to show that 2A plus R minus 1 by 2 the sum of r consecutive integers is equals to those n right now since again i have to bring this to n now there is another way okay now since i have to bring this sum to n again so now i use another way to bring this sum to n that is i write okay so i take r minus 1 here and from inside the bracket, I have to cancel that r minus 1. So uh, I take this as r minus 1 by 2 and a negative of that. Okay, so that cancels out. Now, what do I need? I okay, I have to in the denominator so I need a 2 out of this bracket and also I need to cancel this R outside and I need to have an N finally so now if I take this uh, uh, here as N by R okay so you see that again this whole thing boils down to again N and here if you notice that what is our uh, A A is N by R minus r minus 1 by 2 okay now you must be asking that how uh, we'll prove that a is greater than or equals to 1 because we have r here and we do not have any information about r so let's take r to be equals to d and d is greater than or equals to 3 so we get that r is strictly greater than 1 So here we have a is equals to n by d minus d minus 1 by 2 which is greater than equals to now you see I have my inequality here which I can use. So n by d is greater than equals to d plus 1 by 2 minus d minus 1 by 2. And which is equal to 2 by 2, which is 1. And thus, 
we have proved that our a is greater than or equal to 1 and r is strictly greater than 1. And thus, we have been able to prove that the numbers n which cannot be written as 2 to the power l can be written as the sum of r consecutive positive integers.